What's up guys, David Ronafuck here and today I wanted to talk to you about the tank of the Mayako MX-8 buggy. So there's a couple of things that I do to the tank before I install it in, into my car for the first time. So I just wanted to go over it, you know, making sure that the clunk is uh, not too long or too short. How I do with the 90 degree bend on the outside and also kind of just touching on the uh, limiters that you can uh, mount into the tank in case, you know, you're running in hot temperatures and the tank might expand in a longer run. So uh, let's go. All right, so here we have the tank for the MX-8 Nitro Buggy. And um, like I said, I just wanted to kind of go over a couple of things that I like to do when, when uh, mounting a new tank into the car. So first of all, like if you open the lid here um, of the tank, it's important to kind of see where uh, the clunk is inside. So of course you don't want it to be too far inside because if the car might be upside down or in the jumps, the clunk can get stuck on the back wall here of the tank so that is the first step but usually what i do it's kind of hard to get on camera here but what i do is kind of look down there and and i want it to be like a three four millimeter space between the uh, end of the clunk to the back wall in that way i know that when when the car is upside down and the thick clunk drops down to the top here um, you know it's not going to get stuck or hung up on the back wall um, so that's the first thing. So usually you have to pull the uh, the fuel tube here a little bit further out because when it comes, uh, like at least the ones I've had, uh, they are just a little bit close for my liking. So that is the first thing. Here we have the uh, the 90 degree bend, and this thing is going to be mounted into the fuel tube here on the outside. And uh, the most normal way is to just you know cut the fuel tube a bit shorter so that you are able to mount it like this. But if you put the, the 90 degree bend um, fully outside of the tank like this, uh, this thing is going to be rubbing on the, uh, the body. And um, that's why I am doing it uh, in a different way. So what you have to do if you want to do it like me is that first of all, make sure that the clunk is in the, in the right spot inside of the tank. Then you're gonna cut this uh, a lot shorter than if you would be mounting this bend completely outside. So usually I leave, I would say like five, six millimeters here on the outside of the tank. So I'm cut this, uh, cutting this uh, excess fuel tube away and now you have like this much of the fuel tube sticking out. So the next thing is that you want to insert it like completely so that this little neck here on the 90 degree bend is inside the tank. So then uh, this tube here is going to be going through the hole and the neck of this bend on the inside. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So like you see now, the 90 degree bend is, is uh, mounted the way I do it. So like I said, the neck is now inside and this thing here is much shorter, it's not sticking out that far of the tank. In this way, uh, this thing won't be rubbing on the body and um, you know, uh, with the clips here that you mount on the side of the tank, everything will look pretty neat in your car. So that's uh, what I take care about when, when doing these two steps. The next thing I wanted to kind of talk about is the, uh, the tank, like the, the size limiter. So sometimes you might be running in a temperatures uh, very hot and the tank might expand a little bit during a long run. So to make sure that you don't fail on the, um, on the capacity test that they do in tech in, uh, technical inspection, we have this uh, uh, limiter here that you can put inside the tank. So this limiter is divided into like three different pieces. So either you mount this full piece uh, and I believe every piece is uh, about two milliliter. So you can cut this uh, the way you want. So either you, you put this full thing in and you're gonna have uh, six milliliter less fuel. Either that or you cut one away and you're gonna have four and one more, and you're gonna have two milliliter. So what I usually do when I feel like I need to limit the, the capacity of the tank is that I, I cut away two of these three pieces. So you just take the, the scissor or um, the cutter and you remove it like this. So now you have two milliliter limiter here and this thing has on one side you see there's a deep pocket and one side the pocket is a bit more shallow 
and you want to make sure uh, you put it in the right way when you're going to mount this into the tank so the right way is is putting the screw on the shallow side so i use a cap head 12 millimeter long uh, it's important not to have it uh, have the screw being too long because then it will you know poke out on the on the bottom of the tank so cap head 12 millimeter um, and it sits flush with the top like this so then you know you have it in the right way so the deeper pocket here that one goes into the tank so if you open the lid you will see you will see the screw hole down there on the bottom where uh, you're gonna mount the uh, the uh, limiter so that's what we're gonna do now so now I have the limiter mounted and I'll try to show you I don't know if you can see but um, in there down on the bottom uh, you can see how I mount it so you don't have to over tighten the screw uh, when mounting this limiter uh, just you know making sure that it's in the right place and that it can't move you know very free so of course um, what I do is that I want to have this limiter twisted so that it, it's uh, you know close to this side of the tank here because then there's enough room for the clunk to be able to go up and down so yeah, that's uh, pretty much um, uh, what I had for the uh, you know the tank and, and what you need to kind of take care about a couple of steps that I do and you know using this limiter uh, I always recommend it even if you might not be running in hot temperatures I always recommend it because you want you rather want to be on the safe side than than not so yeah hopefully. Um, this is something that was helpful. It's an important thing, of course. If the clunk gets stuck, you will be running out of fuel if you're upside down or in the jumps, it can get stuck on the back wall and, and uh, eventually you will be out of fuel. So important, like I said, uh, hopefully it was uh, helpful and we'll see you in the next one.